Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are an international medical graduate from India and you are thinking about a career in the UK, this video is for you. Today we are diving into reasons for considering MRCP exam after MBBS, the best tips for acing the MRCP exam in your first attempt and in the process I will answer some frequently asked questions about the MRCP exam on this channel. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, my name is Suman. I am a respiratory physician working as a consultant in NHS UK. I cleared my MRCP part one and part two exam during my MD training in India and subsequently completed CCT in the UK. So I can relate to the struggles that most Indian doctors face during the MRCP exam. I also run a live online MRCP course through a platform called Study MRCP and we provide courses for all the three parts of the MRCP exam. If interested, please check out the link in the description box below. The MRCP or membership of the Royal Colleges of Physicians is a crucial step for doctors who want to practice medicine in the UK. The MRCP exam is divided into three parts. Part 1, Part 2 written and PCS exam which is the practical exam. This exam like any other Royal College exam is a postgraduate exam which is aimed at doctors who are doing internal medicine training in the UK. Now this training is a three year training pathway that you have to apply to get into. And once you complete the three years of IMT or internal medicine training, then you are eligible to apply for higher specialty training in the UK. Doctors who enter IMT training will need to complete all the three parts of the MRCP exam by the end of their three years of training. So what about the international medical graduates who are not in UK approved internal medicine training? This exam is most suited for someone doing three years of MD or DNB general medicine or other medical specialties like respiratory medicine or tropical medicine and they have plans for super specialty training subsequently in the UK and eventually get a CCT. I personally cleared the MRCP part one and part two during my MD training in respiratory medicine while I was in India. So this would be my recommendation to you as well. The best time to apply for MRCP is during your MD training. It is a challenging exam and part one exam has a pass rate of around 50%. But with right preparation, you can definitely succeed in this. So can a MBPS graduate take the MRCP exam? The answer is yes. The eligibility requirement for MRCP part one exam is at least 12 month postgraduate experience. And this includes the 12 months internship that Indian doctors will do after their final MBBS exam. So anyone who has completed internship after MBBS are eligible for MRCP exam. If you have recently appeared for the NEET PG exam and have studied for last one year about various topics and MCQs, then you are at a good starting point for MRCP part one exam. But what most people will confuse or they won't tell you is that just because you are eligible for part one exam doesn't mean that you will easily pass the part two and the PCS exam. It's extremely difficult to pass part two written and PCS exam if you are not in regular clinical practice. Now regular clinical practice for most people would mean being a trainee in medicine. But if you think about it, Regular medical practice also includes someone who is working as a medical officer in a government hospital or someone who is doing junior resident job in a corporate hospital or someone who is doing international IMT training or similar clinical programs which helps to pass the MRCP exam. 
if you are preparing for MRCP exam side by side with your job, then there are reasonable chances for you to pass the MRCP exam, particularly the PSS exam. Now let's discuss some tips which will help you clear your MRCP exam in your first attempt. Tip number one, understand the exam format. MRCP part one focuses on basic medical sciences and clinical knowledge. Part two written, test your ability to apply this knowledge in clinical scenarios. Both are MCQ or theory exams. PSS exam is all about your practical skills and patient interaction. Knowing what to expect in each part of the exam will help you tailor your study plan effectively. Tip number two, create a study schedule. Part one and part two needs at least three to six months of preparation. Consistency is the key. Break down your syllabus into manageable chunks and allocate specific times for each topic. Make sure to include regular breaks to avoid burnout. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Tip number three, use quality study resources. You don't need to study big, big medical textbooks like Harrison's to clear MRCP exam. Invest on well-reviewed books, online courses, and apps specifically designed for MRCP exam preparation. Some of the popular choices are the Philip Calra book for MRCP, Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine, and online courses from past tests and past medicine. You can also explore our study MRCP courses for MRCP preparation as well. Joining courses like ours can also be incredibly beneficial for sharing knowledge as a group and staying motivated throughout your exam preparation with lots of exam practice, which includes mock test. Tip number four is practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more confident you will become. Use past papers and mock exams to familiarize yourself with the question format and time constraints. For PACES, practice your clinical skills with peers, patients, and mentors. And you will need real patients to practice your clinical examination skills. This is where being in regular clinical practice definitely helps. Tip number five is take care of your own well-being. Preparing for MRCP can be intense and a long process which lasts at least two to three years. So it's important to maintain a healthy balance, eat well, exercise regularly, and make time for relaxation and hobbies. A healthy mind and a healthy body will enhance your study efficiency. Friends, if you have been following the UK job market for junior doctors over the last one or two years, you have seen that the job for fresh MBBS graduate after PLAB have completely dried up. So the only chance of entering into UK practice now is having a postgraduate degree in your home country and Royal College exams like MRCP and MRCS. So if you have any plans to move to the UK, the MRCP or similar Royal College exams become a necessity in 2024. The situation keeps changing year on year. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Remember, every step you take brings you closer to your own goal. Stay focused, stay positive, and believe in yourself. If you found this tips helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more similar content like this. Good luck with your MRCP journey and see you in the next video.